Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Scott Friedman. I'm the Dean for Therapeutic Discovery. It's a delight to welcome you back to our fifth annual Sinai Innovations Conference. Uh, this conference was really spawned uh, through the vision of Dean Charney, uh, who has really projected us into the future with uh, a culture of innovation, entrepreneurship that we think is well established. And uh, we're really proud to present what we think is an outstanding program. Um, and I want to start by introducing the CEO, Dr. Ken Davis, who will make some introductory comments, followed by Dean Charney. Ken? Good morning, everybody. And welcome, friends, faculty, speakers, staff, trainees. Um, it's wonderful to be here again for the fifth annual SANA Innovations event. This program has grown each year, celebrates the commitment of our health system and our medical school to advance all our missions including basic science, drug discovery, patient care, and our commitment to population health and changing the healthcare delivery system. I want to thank the School of Medicine for sponsoring the event and the organizers for conceiving a program that's both bold and innovative. The new additions to this week's events, and it's been a whole week, it will be a whole week of this innovations conference, and in particular, the Sinai MedMaker Challenge yesterday's uh, venture conference that Eric Liam ran, last night's award ceremony for innovation, and this afternoon's focused trainee program have added immensely to the richness of our experience here. This year's program focused on therapeutic discovery and features several world leaders from neuroscience, genetic engineering, genomics, big data, immunology, global health, and cancer. The talks we will hear will outline a path forward that hopefully will bring, ultimately, new treatments to our patients. Our program also reflects Mount Sinai's deep commitment to changing healthcare by reforming the practice and delivery of medicine, a goal that requires vision and commitment of all our community across our entire healthcare system. Taken together, this week's program reflects the culture of innovation in our school and our health system that had its origin in the leadership of my friend Dennis Charney, the dean of our Icon School of Medicine. His transformative vision is now making Sinai a model for other academic medical centers for our creative approaches to education, patient care, and scientific discovery. These accomplishments could not have been achieved without the team that Dennis has put together. Although many members of that team deserve credit, I want to acknowledge the contributions particularly of Scott Friedman and Eric Liam, who have turned our values into everyday realities. And what are some of those realities? There are 50 licenses, there are 50 patent applications, important IP, and there are 150 research collaborations, generally with industry. Indeed, it's critical that we accept and even relish our growing presence in drug discovery. Increasingly, big pharma has become investment bankers, buying startup biotechs after those companies have completed successful phase two studies. And they spend proportionately less money on drug discovery. That circumstance leads to the following paradox. As the revolution in biology offers extraordinary opportunities for breakthrough therapeutics, those breakthroughs will increasingly originate not in big pharma, but will come from the laboratories of academic medicine, the laboratories of places like Mount Sinai. This is now our opportunity, but, not, but even more than that, it's our responsibility. We at Mount Sinai are proud to stand at the leading edge of this transformative wave and hope this conference stimulates you, and in particular, our faculty, trainees, and staff to reach further in our efforts to achieve excellence in these areas. I now want to introduce my friend and colleague and your dean, Dennis Charney. Yes, I'd like to uh, add my welcome to uh, our students our faculty, uh, our guests from the venture community and, and pharma, and uh, our, our guest speakers and, and panel uh, members. Uh, 
As has been mentioned, this is the fifth uh, Sinai Innovations Conference. It's now part of our DNA as entrepreneurship and innovation is part of the DNA of Mount Sinai. And you might ask, um, what is our responsibility here? If a health system like the Mount Sinai Health System and the Icon School of Medicine does not take responsibility for making discoveries that change the lives of our patients, who is going to do it? There's only about 20 to 25 medical schools in the United States that have the resources to conduct research that's going to open new avenues for cures of the most serious diseases. The Mount Sinai Health System is, is the largest health system in New York City and one of the largest health systems in the United States. We take care of literally every uh, ethnic group, every socioeconomic group. Our doctors and our students see literally every disease known to mankind. So whose responsibility is it to make these discoveries? It is our responsibility. And this conference is one of the examples where we need to focus our energies on thinking out of the box, on taking risks, on being bold to make the discoveries that are necessary. Our job as, as leaders, Ken, myself, and others, is to provide you with the resources, to provide uh, an environment where partnerships between academia and industry and startups flourish so together we synergize our expertise to accomplish our goals. As many of you know, uh, we are undertaking another strategic plan for the Icon School of Medicine and the Mount Sinai Health System. We are well into that process. We've involved hundreds of our faculty and hundreds of external advisors from top medical schools from throughout the country. And I can assure you uh, that we are hearing some terrific new ideas that are going to set us on a path to make discoveries that make a difference. So again, thank you all. You make us better leaders. You, you, students, you make our teachers better faculty. And faculty, make the discoveries that are so important to all of us. Thank you very much. And Scott, you're going to introduce our wonderful guest speaker. Thank you.